Every state marked in red is where minimum wage earners can afford a two-bedroom rental. This is accurate. My parents bought their house in 1992 for $200,000. It's now worth like $1.2 million. I make more than they did back then and I can't buy a house, but rent is more than their mortgage was. You have summarized the millennial struggle in two sentences. It's sure weird how depression and anxiety are huge problems for young people in a society where everything costs more, every year and every single human act gets monetized on a planet that is boiling alive must be a coincidence. Bermuda is nearly 7% golf course. Golfing covers roughly 1.4 square miles of the 25.5 square mile island. All I can think is, who the hell likes golf? It's golf. What? It's golf. The Amazon sweatshop I work at that forces me to pee in bottles really cares about gay people. Uh, I, I just, I hate the sign that says, welcome to BUF5, not welcome to this Amazon warehouse. Nope, it's welcome to this code name for one of the many sweatshops we got going on. It's, it's great. Found in the UK. I can't eat applause, maybe vote for someone sensible next time, eh? Anti-union junk mail. Sometimes the best gift is cash, scanned to add up to $1,200 to your salary every year. Outshine the owner, earn $15 an hour. Now hiring all positions, minimum wage equals mediocre person, $9 an hour equals first job willing to learn, $10 equals some experience efficient, 11 equals reliable multitasker, $12 an hour equals better than most brings zero drama, works like two people, $13 an hour supervisory material, $14 an hour equals never late, cares like the owner does, brings positivity into the environment, $15 an hour equals outshines plus outperforms the owner, does all the above. Uh, what it should be is um, $15 an hour for just f***ing working. Everyone knows that massive billboards are more important than AC. NYC's mayor just told us to turn off our air conditioners. The brands of Times Square are still blazing and consuming. These are screenshots of live webcams taken just now. Medicare for all? No thanks, I don't want to pay for other people's healthcare. I like private insurance where I pay for other people's healthcare and for the salaries of blood-sucking middlemen whose entire purpose is telling me no when I need medicine. When did you become radicalized by the US healthcare non-system? I'm rubbing my head after getting a cavity filled. Dental assistant says, aw, do you you want a Tylenol? I say, please, and she leaves to get me one. $15 on the bill. I thought she meant, like, from her purse. Really cool of her not to say, oh, by the way, this is gonna be an extra charge. Because why would they do that? Me driving to my stupid job because society refuses to collapse. Can't even get a bathroom break at home. Mouse Whisperer keeps you working even when you need a break. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade, right? What about when life hands you annoyingly intrusive work from home policies that require you to physically stay at your computer even though you really, really need to go to the bathroom but can't be trusted to act like a responsible adult who won't get diverted by TV or the fridge on the way back? In that case, you build something like the Mouse Whisperer because malicious compliance is the best kind of compliance. God. So gross, so disgusting. It, do, I should be allowed to do whatever I want in my home. That That is none of your concern. Mother hospitalized with malnutrition after eating one meal a day so children don't starve. But there's no problems, right? We're all good. No one needs to get paid more. If everyone is losing money, where is it going? It's almost like there's some people hoarding massive amounts of wealth and managing to profit off this disaster. Hey, what if we didn't combine dozens of unrelated political positions into two color-coded options? That sounds like something someone from the other color would say. Get them, boys! Legally speaking, a corporation is a person, so any hashtag corporate bailout should be limited to $1,200. Survive Survival skill meta rising. Camp inside. It is impossible using primitive means to heat the entire interior airspace of your home. You must shrink the internal space of your modern home to heat less space. Without forced air, your house will reach outside temperatures within days. Setting up a tent indoors creates an internal air buffer that your body heat alone might warm sufficiently. By adding sleeping bags and possibly wearing clothing in your bag, you create more layers of insulation. You might even resort to setting up a smaller tent inside a larger tent for 
for optimal sleep time insulation. You'll be amazed how much body heat two tents can serve. Cold, warmer, warmest. One tent inside the other, sweet tech brought to you by the homeless. Hearing all these members of Congress's second plus homes being vandalized sure does make you think how bullshit it is that members of Congress own multiple homes and are arguing against families staying in the one they rent. An 82 year old woman gets arrested with a warrant for not being able to pay her $77 trash bill. It is like this that is so frustratingly unfathomable. It is like, are you kidding me right now? It, uh, by the way, why is a trash bill $77? Such a perfect metaphor of what we all give up due to the fear that someone else might get something for free. Can't sit down after teaching for hours just because someone wants to punish the homeless. Just the worst. The ambulance is not your taxi to the hospital. Have you ever avoided taking an ambulance because you could not afford it? The ambulance is not your taxi to the hospital. Uh, but it should be. Boomers losing everything in the stock market? You think this is funny? Me not even able to afford a house? Why would I use TikTok when they steal my data to send back to China when I can be a good American and use Facebook who steals my info and sells it to China like a true patriot? Hashtag billionaires are labeled philanthropists by a dominant culture established by their own powerful tools to hide the fact that they pay less and less taxes. At the same time, they grab huge amounts of public wealth, making the working class weaker and poorer. Living Pod could replace your apartment costs only $24,000 and takes just a day to install. You know, I think they're onto something here, making us pay more for a home the size of a bathroom. I think that's pretty genius. We steal your water and sell it back to you. Montana Silver Springs Water. Yep, it's just water from the springs. That's it, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they've done anything different. They, they're just scooping it up and selling it to you. Millennials after getting through three major economic crises and a few dozen catastrophic events all before hitting 35. Y'all, the New York school system won't shut down because over 100,000 students are homeless and will not get a meal otherwise. The US is the dystopia they imagine everywhere else being. I can't believe the school is on fire. Thank God we got all the kids out in time. Well, we better get the kids back in there. But the fire's only gotten worse. Sure, but consider how much it costs to keep them out here. Single mom arrested for abandoning her kids at food court while interviewing for job 30 feet away. Wow. Why did blue collar become unskilled labor? While we're on it, there's no such thing as unskilled labor. The concept does not exist. You cannot take a boardroom CEO and dump them at a dock and call them a longshoreman and expect them to perform flawlessly. It is a fake idea designed to depress your wages. What I got for employee appreciation after working an entire year during a pandemic. We're bursting with appreciation for you. Much and many thanks for all you do. Here's M&Ms and popcorn. Awesome. In Japan, there is a hotel where you can stay for just a dollar a night. The catch is you must agree to live stream your entire stay on YouTube? But like, f why? Like actually genuinely why? That's just weird and creepy. FBI raids Brooklyn man's home after he ordered over 5,000 boxes of N95 masks and was trying to sell them at 700% markup. Cool, now do the insulin manufacturers next. 2,100 pounds per month for this Airbnb in central London. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually, are, is this, th this is a joke, right? Surely, surely th this is an apartment? Where's the, f where's the kitchen? Ah, that'd probably be like another 2,000 pounds, wouldn't it? You're free to go, but you can't leave. Some prisoners remain behind bars in Louisiana despite being deemed free. About 200 to 250 inmates are held beyond their legal release dates in any given month, with the average additional time lasting around 44 days in 2019. Christ. Wait till you get a hit. Well, I gotta say, this is the first time I've ever seen a, uh, a tent car. The bank says I can't afford a $950 mortgage, so I pay $1,400 a month in rent instead. What's the f point of allowing billionaires to accure all this money if we have to pay them every time their companies lose value? That's what the billions we let you keep are for, dip- the cruise ship promises to let guests live permanently at sea at a price. Permanent 237 square foot studios went on the market this year for $1 million. A Meta employee paid $300,000 for a cruise ship condo so he can work from home while traveling, report says. Experience the great outdoors from prison. Incarcerated men and women watch nature videos on loop in a mental health program. 
This is one of the most depressing images I have ever seen in my entire life. Cool. Finally, my order will be quick and accurate. McDonald's fully automated location with no human employees sparks debate. No more attitude at the counter. Geez, I wonder where this attitude could come from. I wonder if it's maybe from, uh, I don't know, employees not getting paid enough to deal with annoying ass customers? People no longer believe working hard will lead to a better life, survey shows. Another successful bust. When my dad passed away, we were literally poor. I had to help my mom pay bills. We were really struggling. I had to step up so I was selling chips, candy, brownies, you name it. I got caught and lost $400. That was two months of bills gone. Y'all lame, delete this. Yeah, that, that's just f***ing stupid. Make sure your litter is still effectively advertising your company. Packaging will continue to brand a chain when it becomes garbage on the street or debris in the trash. Don't disregard packaging because that is promotion for your product. Bro, Walmart has removed nearly all of their stock of video games except for those rated E for everyone, but still has the audacity to keep their entire gun section. Bernie is known for reading all of Bill before he votes on it. His fellow senators frequently joke about it what what is there to joke about i love the stock market because when it goes up we get nothing but when it goes down we all lose our jobs except during a pandemic when it goes up and we still lose our jobs remember the texas prisoner who sued for a cotton blanket because he was allergic to the prison's blankets and officials refused to give him a cotton one instead i got records showing the state spent twenty thousand dollars fighting his case instead of giving him a blanket can you imagine? This is the border between Arizona and Mexico. Wow, that's, uh, that's, that's cool. Great, those look awesome. Just lined up in the middle of nowhere. God damn, just let them unionize. Starting December 7th, anytime a customer says, Alexa, thank my driver, the driver who delivered their most recent package will be notified of the customer's appreciation. And in celebration of this new feature with each thank you received from customers, drivers will also receive an additional $5 at no cost to the customer. We'll be doing this for the first 1 million thank yous received, and the five drivers who receive the most customer thank yous during the promotional period will also be rewarded with $10,000 and an additional $10,000 to their charity of choice. Amazon, you are f stupid. You are... Ooh, okay, we gotta we gotta move on. Invoices for my hospital stay are starting to come in. Each Hall's cough drop, individually packaged by SafeCore of Columbus, Ohio, is billed at ten dollars. Why? Why? Literally, why? This is a waste of packaging money and patience money. Wow, this is bad news for Bernie Sanders when he runs against three people at once in the general. Eight guys in this country have more money than four billion people combined. But yeah, the mom buying groceries with food stamps is the problem. Plastering ads on a giant Christmas tree at a Christmas market. Wow, that's cool. That, that's neat. Awesome. Yeah, that's my favorite part of the Christmas tree is the ads. It's wild how so many Americans view the outsourcing of domestic manufacturing to China over the past 25 years as some devious Chinese plan for domination rather than a strategy by which the American ruling class exploded its profit margin by exploiting global inequality. In America, we got celebrities singing Imagine. El Salvador has canceled all rent, water, phone, internet, electricity bills for three months and they're building a hospital in case of a major outbreak. My third world country did that. But America is the greatest country in the world, right? Breaking anti-LGBT curriculum opt-out bill has passed the House 64 to 23. The bill requires parents to be warned 30 days in advance if an LGBT person or subject will be even mentioned in a Tennessee classroom and allowed to opt out their children. But why? Like, why? What, what, are, you, what are you afraid of? What, like, I don't get it. 40% if the homeless have a full or part-time job. Have you ever heard the idea that people experiencing homelessness don't want to work or they should just get a job? The truth is that many do. In fact, a 2021 study from the University of Chicago estimates that 53% of people living in homeless shelters and 40% of unsheltered people were employed either full or part-time in the year that people were observed homeless between 2011 to 2018. Despite how many people experiencing homelessness work, a job doesn't solve everything. Life-sustaining wages are a key determinant of housing's security, however most people experiencing homelessness are not earning enough to afford rent. The fact this was posted by an Amazon corporate account. Go home and be with your family. Why? Because that's what people do. Uh, unless they're working in an Amazon sweatshop, that is. Wang Jiwei Win Interchange. Holy f 
Christ, that is a that is a lot of roads. That what? Who who designed this? Dressing as your other job. Fun. It's spirit week at Shaw. Today was Halloween costume day, so instead of red for Ed, a few teachers dressed in their second job uniform. Keep pushing for a living wage. Awesome. So this is a thing now, as if we weren't under enough constant surveillance already. Ray-Ban stories have built-in HD cameras. I've never understood the cameras in glasses thing. It's just... You have a phone. Remember to disable the hospital spy before discussing sensitive information. Please remember not to discuss patient information at PHI unless the Amazon Echo is muted. Thank you. This woman who was attacked by a bear in California and had her face ripped off did a Reddit AMA and she said the worst part about the experience was dealing with her health insurance provider after the fact. What do you find the hardest to overcome on your path back to recovery? Blue Cross, hands down. Th worse than the bear ripping your face off. That's- that's saying something. Londoners trying to survive, like, can you sleep in big yellow storage? Oof. A lot of things that we think take a lot of courage actually just take a lot of money. Quitting your job with no backup? Money. Calling off a wedding? Money. Starting over a new city? Money. It's very easy to have the courage of your convictions when you have a safety net and very difficult to do anything on principle when you don't. I have never given Jeff Bezos a moment's thought before this week. I'm always interested in extraordinary achievement and often admire it. I am fascinated by what extraordinary achievers understand and how evolved they are as people. Looking at him in his astronaut costume and his cowboy hat and his Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch, coming out of his pe craft, being greeted by his Ling cod-lipped girlfriend, dripping in oversized diamonds, I saw a man completely without a sense of irony. Not a man aware that he had been entrusted with the greatest fortune in human history to benefit all of humanity, but a small narcissistic buffoon, unaware that the universe is 10 billion light years wide, and he had just spent five billion dollars to fly 60 miles through it, so the whole world could look at him at once and see what a truly small man he is. And here is Kermit the Frog voice declare that his big plan is to pollute space. Instead of increasing our employees' wage, let's decrease their age. McDonald's, we hire 15 year olds. Fucking <laughs> why? The app I pay $15 a month for to start my car is performing maintenance the only time of day I need it? Dude, you need an app to start your car that you pay for? You pay for an app to start your car? Why did you get that car? What the f kind of car needs a god- Dude, what? Yeah, I bought this microwave the other day, but unfortunately the $15 a month f***ing app I pay for, I can't heat up my goddamn frozen meal because I gotta open the app and it doesn't- Dude! My 19-year-old daughter is considered an essential employee. She's a fast food worker. She's exposed every day. No one gave a f*** about Ellen's privilege pampers app stuck in her mansion. Show me Ellen working the lines at the grocery store, no mask, no gloves, then I might care. Your daughter is a hero. No, she's a slave of capitalism. She's terrified. I'm terrified. She can't quit because she'd be homeless. She can't come home because she could infect me and her sister. Comorbidities. Let's call it what it is. She's not a hero. She's a sacrifice demanded by the elites. Choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life because that field isn't hiring. <laughs> Life is great, isn't it? It's only gotten better since August 2019. Utah man robbed bank of just $1, then waited to be arrested to get healthcare, police say. Yeah, God, America is just, wow, fantastic. Look at the look on the guy's face, just so he wouldn't die of cancer. A picnic garden in Turkey. Yeah, this is, uh, this looks like it's straight out of a varium. I don't like that. Plastic pollution is fusing with geological material to make plasto geo- uh, What the- uh, uh, Sorry, guys, I, I, I can't say that word, but look, what the hell? We are destroying the planet and making new creations, man. Captured Russian weapons are packed with U.S. microchips. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> Sacred advertising. All hail the Galaxy S23. Our Lord and Savior in the year 2023. I bet you guys forgot that I could do that. Also, yes, I'm reading all the, my images off my S23. 
Ah, good old times. The last time housing was this unaffordable was in Victorian times. God, the Victorian era was great. Gov removed old entrance of a footbridge, MTR Taiwan, and forced everyone to go through this new shopping center, and the big corporation reminds you to spend money for their own profit. Shopping is always a good idea, even if you've got no money. Spend it all. Attempts to ban books reached a record high in two... Yeah, they banned a bunch of manga. Uh, assassination Classroom, because they were afraid... Kids, I guess we're gonna attack their teachers. Can't afford food? Buy a TV. Don't buy eggs. Buy TVs. Electronic prices are defying inflation. Oh my god, really? I'll eat the TV for dinner. Shrinkflation in action. Dairy Gold reduced the half gallon container by five ounces. Now people on the woman, infants, and children food benefits can't buy it. Wow. Wow. Great job, Dairy Gold. You guys are a fan, fantastic company. My hospital has a fake LED window on their ceiling. Hmm. I mean, it's got liven up the, the death the, the death house, I guess. That works. Rutgers president tries to intimidate union members by incorrectly claiming a strike is illegal after nearly a year of unsuccessful negotiations. Update on labor negotiations return from spring break. Dear Rutgers students, the teachers are bad, bad, bad for wanting fair wages even though we charge each and every one of you like 50 grand a year. When influencers are role models, it makes sense for a three-year-old to want a toy ring light. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Maybe don't give your kid a phone until they're like at least 13. Uh, I got mine at 15 and like I turned out okay. I was reimbursed 705 by Equifax for having my identity stolen after their data breach. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. You let my identity get stolen, but thank you. Awesome. From a beautiful building to a regular KFC. Ah, hey, I'm just gonna say it. A tree would be better. Get rid of all of them and just put the trees back. I'm not gonna, like, say, oh, low poor building. Copyright means you may need permission to put photos of your own furnished room online. Oh, okay, cool. That's, uh, that's awesome. Department of Waste said it was recycling our shoes. We found them in Indonesia. I mean, at least somebody's getting the shoes. I don't know. There's nothing good about Goodwill. No, no, no. There's There really is not anything good about Goodwill. Their CEO makes like 300 grand a year. I kid you not. Aerial view of a tire scrapyard. Hooray! We're killing the planet! <laughs> More than 2 million is a lot of money. I'm not suggesting otherwise, but when it comes to retirement, it doesn't mean you're automatically good to go once you hit the million dollar mark. I'm 6'6". Six, six. We have more than 2 million. I just want to golf. Can I retire? No. No, you can't. Not anymore. Vun in 6. Drive and end to hung... hung uh, to, uh, what? 1 in 6 Australian adults are severely food insecure? What do you mean food insecure? Starving to death? New Hampshire's live free or die license plates are made by the incarcerated. Hooray! The prison system is meant to make money! <laughs> Casual commute. Yeah. Yeah, this is why you should never live here. Or in LA. Just like sink all the big cities into the ground. Boeing argues they should pay less to survivors of Ethiopia's 737 MAX crash because the planes failed so badly that pain and suffering damages don't apply. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. You guys are fantastic. I love you, Boeing. I'm never flying on you ever, but I probably will. Don't jump just yet. We still need your labor. Don't jump. Careerbuilder.com. Yeah, you can get a job and work for us, man. Toronto subway system has experienced such a significant increase in random assaults that there's now a specialized self-defense course. Yeah, it teaches you how to protect yourself on a train. Stop. Grab the brake. Rip it. Punch him in the face. Do a backflip. Plasma equals brake. Donate plasma and get up to 900 bucks. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. I love I love spring break funded by my bodily fluids. Silicon Valley, everyone. <laughs> oh my god, it's a homeless dude in VR. I I hate LA. I hate LA. I lived there for a long time in this. I hate it. This packaging uses an optical illusion to make the vegetables look more green. Hmm. That's uh that's actually kind of cool though. Like that they can do that. Interesting. Um it, totally weird and should be illegal, but cool. Forbes track record. Wow. All the all four of these people? Never, never leading us wrong. Yeah, that guy at the top right, yeah, he totally didn't crash an entire market. World is on brink of catastrophic warming, UN climate change report says. Really? Really? Global warming? Yeah, it's too late to fix it, you say? Oh, it's almost like they've been saying that for 30 years. The LA Share Department is run partially by gangs. Gang members hold positions at highest levels of LA Sheriff's Department investigation reveals. And I wonder why everyone says defund the police. Coming to classrooms near you, Lunchables is signing deals with K-12 schools across here to provide improved nutrition versions of its products in its schools. Um, 
All I have to say is school lunches were finished when Michelle Obama put in her lunch program. We went from having food that was edible to literally poop on a plate. When a billboard is more important than a view, a new way to crush the souls of office workers. Hello, yellow! We've got to pay for this building somehow, workers! IQ scores are falling and have been for decades. Environmental factors including the educational system to blame. Yeah, I wonder why we're stupider. Oh, that's right. There's no reason to be smart. There's nothing left to do in life but fix other people's problems. A dating simulator that also files your income taxes. Hmm. Can, uh, tax haven through that dating simulator that also files your income taxes? Yo, yo, for real? Finally, forget TurboTax. I'm doing this. I'm gonna get me a waifu and my taxes filed. The automatic teller machines will only be available when human tellers are in the building. I just wanted some cash on a Sunday. Pretty certain this is due to homeless people crashing in the ATM room after hours. Yeah, probably. Probably, that's that's probably why. Delivery person in Wuhan using exoskeleton to help him carry more parcels. Oh, dude, I remember this. This guy's actually really cool. I like that. He's just like, I am the ultimate delivery man. Bro, you invented an exoskeleton. Sell that bad boy and stop being a delivery man. Meta had a leak. We should be able to run a very good ads business, he said. I think it's easy to imagine how ads would show up in space when you have AR glasses. Our ability to track conversations, which is where there have been a lot of focus as a company, should also be close to 100%. Yes, thank you, Meta. I'm glad you're going under. One of the two remaining northern white rhinos in the world guarded 24 hours a day to guard against poachers photo, Maz Tekovic source National Geographic. This is so depressing on so many levels. I thought it was a boring dystopia, not, oh my god, life sucks. Hundreds queue in the street for a chance to snap up two-bedroom East London home for $1,200 a month. Oh my god. God, dude, what is going on with this world? Country with shrinking population decides prison living is worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, prison living, totally worthwhile. Global antidepressant usage. Yeah. Hey, America's number one for something again. Let's go, baby. Also, damn, Korea's pretty low. So it's chilly. Huh, interesting. Future Fords could repossess themselves and drive away if you miss payments. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, but also, I, I get it. The company has to reclaim their property if you're not paying for it. It's hard to repossess because then they got to hire someone to find it. They got to get it. If someone gets in the car, they can't drive away. It's a big pain in the butt. Children going to a 12-hour night shift in the United States 2023. Why? Why? Why is this? Ah, the world is broken. Stupid anti-homeless architecture. You can't even sit on them comfortably. That That's kind of the point to like keep the homeless from sitting there, I guess, and just sitting down and being a human being. I got charged a dollar. 77 for crying while being prescribed antidepressants. Brief emotional or behavioral assessment. Why did they even put that down? Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards presented by the U.S. Air Force. Let's go! Come on, kids! Come join the U.S. Air Force by watching the Kids Choice Awards! You're gonna get slimed with nuclear radiation! Researchers have created teeny fairy-like robots that could replace dying bumblebees superior to its natural counterparts. That No, no, it's not superior. Bumblebees are cute and beautiful. This is like the start of like that episode of of, what do you call it? Uh, Black Mirror. Private companies can brand potholes after they fix it in Jonasburg. No, I'm actually okay with this. I, I'm perfectly fine with this because the, the state won't fix it. Do it. You know what I did once to get a pothole fixed in my neighborhood? I spray painted a big wiener over it and then they fixed it two days later after it popped my tire. Smart locks could mean getting locked out of your apartment the minute your rent is late. Hooray. Yeah, the blockchain's not doing so well. Not sure about this one. They sentenced couple who stole roast chicken to 14 years in prison. Mother claimed son passed out of hunger. Uh, why? Why is there no compassion left in the world? It was a chicken, bro. Their kid was starving. If it came out to be true, like, let him go. But like, Jesus Christ. BetterHelp shared user data for ad revenue, FTC alleges. If this is true, I will never trust a therapist that isn't in person again. The bars on this drive through window. I mean, bro, it's because all the stupid TikTok kids jumping through the window. I don't know. Absentee homeowners are crowding the housing market, data shows. Absentee homeowners are crowding. Uh, uh, dude, uh, hey, if someone wants to buy a second house to rent out or just hold on to, that's their right. I just have to say that. Most grateful employer. We did it. 90 million in sales in 2002. Celebrate with a cupcake in the break room. Way to go, team. Keep up the great work. Fill it, sign it, done it. Yes. <laughs> no, we're not signing your, your paychecks, no. But thank you for $90 million profit. Welcome to Vegas. IV drip therapy. Don't let a fun night ruin a great day. What is this? If you get drunk? Oh, this is for if you get drunk? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Walmart has an employee food pantry instead of paying enough for their workers to eat. Huh. 
it's not even good food it's ramen and bread like no no like that's unhealthy stuff is what i mean it's not good food dude walmart a company that daily's profit is probably like 10 million dollars minimum can't give their employees enough money to eat oh my god Get iPhone game reward by signing up for Section 8 housing. Oh my god, really? Sweet! In Las Vegas, artificial monuments to greed eclipse the natural world's beauty. Huh, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. The whole of Las Vegas is a monument to greed and eclipses the natural beauty around it. The sphere fits right in and doesn't make it any worse than it already is. <laughs> OP trying real hard to be deep, but that's just another day in Vegas. Also, what's so beautiful about Vegas? It's a bunch of desert that they built a city in. Moon mining gains momentum as private companies plan for a lunar economy. Isn't that great guys? Let's mine the moon so much for money that it falls out of the sky and crushes us. I say we'll let the rich go to space and just let them, don't let them come back. I don't think that's how that works. They'll just land here with their hired guns, man. You don't understand. We all gotta work together or we're not gonna win. Artificial intelligence, please. Van detects drivers using mobile phones. I'm, uh, I'm not sure that's how that works, but okay. People hiding from sun and opening of city square will replace hundred of trees and grass with concrete. Hmm, okay, sweet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Don't just, like, leave some trees around or whatever for that. Put another building there. Not even airport security is safe from advertising. Oh, you didn't know about this? Yeah, this has been a thing for a while. Isn't it great? This just makes me never gonna watch this with Gal Gadot because I saw it in the bin that I loaded my shoes into. Google takes a page out of Twitter's book and invites employees to sleep on campus for free. Isn't that, isn't that great? I mean, Google's a pretty good company to work for. I know a couple people that work there, they're very happy, but this just seems weird. Watch rent eventually takes 75% and cafeteria fees raised to 25%. Other check, which never even needs to be deposited to an external bank. <laughs> That's already happening, buddy. Think endless sunshine, warm nights. July is world's hottest month with spikes not seen in 125,000 years. There's nothing quite as romantic as summer. Think endless sunshine, warm nights, and sparkling rings, baby, as we burn to death because we destroyed the planet. Texas charges prisoners 50% more for water as heat waves continues. That's very illegal, but no one's gonna do it. Wait, they charge prisoners for water? For bottled water? Yeah, they do. Outspoken climate activist Steven Spielberg has taken delivery of his $250 million super yacht even longer than a football field. The diesel-powered 4,444 uh, 4, ton has two swimming pools and is possibly a plush movie theater and a helipad. But yeah, great for the environment. It's almost like he's just faking it so we go see his movies. The children in Yemen blown to pieces as well as acquitted with these judo Christian values. Judo Christian roots will ensure US military AI is used ethically and yeah, sure, sure. AI is ethical. Mm -hmm. Billionaire raises five homes to build his latest. Yeah, yeah, that's it's awesome. Tagging a tree in a quiet city park with graffiti. Hey, yo, dog, they'll never see him, but look, this is owned by Two Quack a Dog. That's my new symbol, because I can't spell. The warning label on the back. Backpack shooter toys amazing. Warning, this product may be mistaken for real firearm by law enforcement officer. Wow. When I was younger, we used to run around with airsoft guns with no orange tips. I'm not even that old. I just grew up in the country. Like, uh, that, that's weird. That, that's, that, that's weird that we have to just put this as a warning label now. Singapore to deploy 50 drone remote ID sensors covering entire city state. Yeah, we're living in freaking pre-Terminator times, what can we say? Sarah Huckabee Sanders wears big smile next to frowning children as child labor laws rolled back. Wow, those kids look upset that it's rolled back. What, did they want to work there? London is hell. Discuss scam. Yeah, well, and then London could be yours for just $20,000. Estate agent selling Twickerman probably believe it could have development potential. It's a staircase. New doomsday signal just dropped. Pink snow is a red flag for the west water. Man, why can't we just have nice, pretty pink snow? But nope, now we're getting poison, poison snow. Awesome. Empty private park in Manhattan. Yeah, this is awesome. Don't you love the rich? How's your park doing, guys? Keeping all the riffraff out, all the kids? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, no, I'm singing off for the end of the day at four MFers. Workers are creating a dead zone between 4 to 6 p.m. to fit in COVID-era habits like school runs and gym sessions. Uh, bro, most places you only work till 5 or start at like 6. What are you talking about? I'm confused. Capitalism, literally flying holidaymakers onto a burning island that is being evacuated, lol. Very funny that it's specifically British companies as well, just cosmic levels of wildfire ignorance. Yeah, please ignore that uh, email notification, but that's the notification. My god, they're flying planes still there for money. The skylight in our canteen. We have no windows at all where I work. This is their solution. 
wow, this is, that's fake. That's definitely fake. That's really weird and fake. This is literally like trapped underground nuclear holocaust type weird. An asteroid is a capitalist that could destroy all life or the world economy. Money is a sham. An asteroid loaded with 10 quadrillion worth of metals edges closer to the US. Oh yeah, baby, it's gonna take out all South America, but us Americans are gonna get richer. Yeah! I bet you they're gonna plan some way to make it land specifically on another country. That would be really messed up, but also funny. <laughs> In a bad way about how you know messed up society is, but also I want some rich metals. Wawa opens up fully digital store in Philadelphia. All orders must be placed via app or kiosk in the store. I, I hope this place goes out of business. I so hope this place goes out of business, please. I love Wawa, but this is just dumb. So the storefront is just an oversized vending machine? It's a walk-in vending machine. The customers are the claw. It's like a game. A 2,000% return on your investment. Doug Burgum is offering $20 to people donating $1 to his campaign. Is that legal? I, I don't think that is legal. You can't walk your dog without a car. Dogs are only permitted in Dog Run. Dogs must be driven by car to Dog Run. Wow, awesome. So you're telling me my dog can't walk in the little doggy park if I don't have a car. Thanks, buddy. Corporation buys 1,900 homes in the Sun Belt. That's, uh, that's cool. Seems really messed up and illegal and monopolistic, but you know what? Awesome. No quit notice in McDonald's forbidden employees from quitting sparks anger debate about at-will employment. This is a no quit restaurant. Because we feel that in many switches can be resolved. What now? I'll quit if I want to. You tell me I can't quit. I'll quit for you telling me that. Producers allegedly sought rights to replicate extras using AI forever for just 200 bucks. Yup, welcome to the entertainment industry, baby. We're on strike for this reason. I'm gonna lose my job because of this in five years. Yay! One day it's just gonna be easy peasy AI cougar. Like, hey guys, how's it going? Don't worry, he'll be funnier at least. The middle income Americas are thriving, or so they say. Middle income Americas say they are on track to thrive financially. Well, middle America made money for the first time in the last eight years, but like the lower class is getting poorer, but the middle and middle upper class are getting richer. Google Maps now has an overlay for wildfires. That's really sad. It's really sad that this had to be done. The AI boom is screwing over Gen Z. ChatGPT is commandeering the mundane tasks that young employees have relied on to advance their careers. Yeah. Imagine not having to do those things and just giving us a job. Looking yeah, at mattresses on Amazon, and this was the top review for Amazon's choice. Hand, head over to Amazon.com to see the latest innovations in hashtag van life for the growing full employed homeless population. So, uh, live in a van and I work two jobs. Oh my god, dude, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's not cool. Instead of raises, we got work bucks to use on a store for ramen and granola bars. Oh, Kerr, you did a thing. I, I don't like that they use the bitmojis or whatever they're called from Snapchat or Facebook. This is, this is weird. They're basically saying, yeah, this is a prison. Do you want a granola or ramen like commissary? Uh, not that it's that. You have to pay for your bottle of water. Document she has EPA approved Chevron fuel ingredient, even though it could cause cancer in virtually every person exposed over a lifetime. That's because the EPA is in the pocket of the gas company, buddy. You didn't know that? Welcome to America. Secretive federal agencies' days of killing pets with poison bombs may finally be ending. What is wrong with you? <clears throat> An Arizona woman died after her power was cut off over a $51 debt. That forced utilities to change after they were exposed as complicit with... A human life is worth $51 to you, electric company. Wow. I remember when I lived someplace really cold, it was illegal to cut off any utility customer during the winter. Like, if you're the tech that shuts off power, you can be arrested. They could owe thousands, keep that juice going until it thaws. Weird they don't have that equivalent in hot airs. They really don't, but uh, here's a fun hack, everybody. It applies in most states, not all of them. If you have asthma, they can't ever turn your power off, <laughs> even if you have like $3,000 worth of debt. <coughs> we did that with my brother. Oh, God, and we never paid him either. Frick the electric company, bro. Sorry, I'm choking on air. Soldiers struggling to eat as massive U.S. military base goes months without sufficient food access. I want to serve my country, and they'll send me to college, but I'll get shot in and won't be able to eat. Sweet. The one thing they promise, food and a bed. Cigna spent an average just 1.2 seconds reviewing each of its 3,000 claims it denied over the course of two months. Oh, not just that. It's kind of like PA who has that PAHO report line. They don't approve any cases of reimbursement. Other insurance companies spend only a second considering your claim. Here at Cigna, we strive to give your claim up to 20% more consideration. Thanks, Cigna. Ah, this is a signal we're all gonna die in a couple years, isn't it? Company takes screenshots every 10 minutes and counts keyboard and mouse clicks. Wow, that seems very illegal. Lot less is saying the quiet part out loud. Lot less closeouts. Become addicted? What? <laughs> it's just, it's not just shopping into the What? 
Expensive new building estates all over the UK with cattle pen s gardens. Boy, this isn't creepy or scary at all. This is like a joke 10 years ago. Where, what has the world become? Oh God. Elephants have evolved to be tussless because of ivory poaching, a study finds. Hey man, at least the elephants are like, whoa, the humans are gonna hurt us, let's get rid of our tusks. Can't defend ourselves? Well, at least they won't kill us for our tusks. It's been said before, if the idea of liberties was introduced today in our terrible hell world of 2023, they'd be considered impossible or some kind of unrealistic social fantasy. The US library system, once the best in the world, faces death by a thousand cuts. Isn't that awesome? They're not gonna get jobs. Isn't that great? I get people don't go to libraries anymore, but like, I wouldn't be an internet person if it was for the library, because like, I used it until like five years ago, right before COVID happened, dude. I was still using the library for the free Wi-Fi. 11 year olds driving forklifts for warehouses. Woo! 30K in fines, LOL, those two kids probably generated enough revenue for them to pay that off for free. Yeah, sure they did. Uh-huh, definitely. Listen, man, driving a forklift is fun. Now, what can I say? I would do that at 11. I donated my eggs to help pay off my student loans. That's, that that's really sad that you have to do that to pay our students. Good for you, I'm glad you did that. Hell, if I had student loans still, I'd be into a cup if they'd take it. I'm just barely attractive enough, tall enough, and smart enough, I think. Oh, sold. Yeah, I'd sell my sperm. Straight up. I'd sell my eggs, too. Adelaide, sorry, Adelaide. Oh, Adelaide, Adelaide Airport. Sorry, guys, I'm not Australian. Adelaide Airport, when you're waiting for a plane and just have to hit that grind. Taskboard mine when you just gotta get the jewel out there, buddies. Lebanese Army Guards McDonald's. Yeah, that makes, that makes so much sense. Why? Why? What is going on in this world? What? We need to guard the map boys before anyone takes them from us. Apparently there is business to be done on a dead planet. What a third world war would mean for investors. Global conflicts have a habit of sneaking up on money men. Really? Really? It's almost like we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die and the world is doomed. That's where my point of view. And I'm in a booth talking instead of living life to the fullest. Century old tradition of still using a racial caste system where your racial inferiors do your laundry. It's okay. The Hong Kong Chinese servants will be replaced with Nepal's Gurkhlis. Navy to replace Chinese servants for security reasons. Yeah. Servants. Yeah. Least expensive bed space in Hong Kong. I mean, the, besides the person getting out, that looks, I could sleep there. I'm not kidding. I've slept in smaller spaces before. I slept in a cardboard box one night just to see if it was doable. A construction zone in Brisbane. Tree protection zone. Do you know what it, boys? Can't let the trees get hurt. Too many people killing them. Can't harm the trees if there aren't any there. That is true. That is true. I really like how they were planning to drop bombs to replant the burnt down Australian forest. I, I really wish we went forward with that idea. You can start gambling as soon as you get off the plane in Vegas. Hooray! <laughs> Fun fact, the uh, the slot machines in the hotel lobbies are rigged to pay out at a higher thing, so they get you to hook on gambling. So that's a little tip for you. But they can switch it from behind the desk. Yeah, I live here, LOL. You can also gamble at the freaking grocery store. Oh, they do that in Pennsylvania's too, but they're called Games of Skill. A healthier for you vending machine in Texas. Yeah, let's see what we got here. We got some Funyuns, some Cheetos, some Dorados, some Lays, some Cheetos again. All of them sound like really healthy options, man. Man, I love my snackies. Probably the healthy options weren't selling, so they stocked it with this. Shoes as a service, $30 a month. What do you mean? What do you mean as a servant? Oh, wait, maybe they're like paid off. Maybe it's not like a subscription thing. It's like you pay it off or like maybe it's got some tech in it. I don't know. Tennessee became the first state to make camping on public land a felony. Wow. I, I freaking love that, dude. Awesome, Tennessee. The law requires that violators receive at least 24 hours notice for an arrest. The felony charge is punishable by up to six years in prison and a loss of voting rights. So the law intends to punish the homeless for sleeping underneath highway passes or in state-owned forests as well as other public property just under the sign of the collapse of our society. Where are they supposed to go at this rate? I am not even American, but this just get... They, you know where they're supposed to go? Nowhere. Nowhere. Rich people don't care about homeless people, especially in Los Angeles. They're like, oh my gosh, we have to fix the homeless problem. Really what they mean is move them away from where we live and like down to Main Street and we're happy with that. Google Brain co-founder says big tech companies are lying about the risk of AI wiping out humanity because they want to dominate the market. E even Elon Musk, if you don't like him, warned everyone about AI and no one listened and now look where we're at. This headline is super grabby to be clear. They CEOs are lying saying that AI will lead to the extinction of humans so that governments will regulate it so that will cut out the free open source projects that they make more money. I'd be okay with that. I really don't want the public having access to AI. They've stolen my voice and made me say really mean things from video games I've voiced in, man. Scrolled across this ad on Reddit for an AI service to speak with deceased. Talk to law. Oh my Jesus Christ. How are we going in a circle? We used to pay people to speak to our dead relatives. Then like fortune tellers went out of fashion. Now we got AI fortune tellers. The GoFundMe for Mary 
Mary Lou Ritten, world-class Olympic gymnast, reaches 250k in donations as she fights for her life in ICU after world realizes she has no insurance. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, yeah, a bunch of, uh, bunch of Olympic athletes, they don't have any money. You don't really make money from the Olympics, dude. We love universal social welfare, but miss Corpo Daddy. Yeah, we moved to Copenhagen to raise our young kids. Childcare is astronomically cheaper and better, but we miss the convenience of shopping on Amazon. Go to the store. It's not that hard. I could order a charger and get it tomorrow, or I could drive like 30 minutes to Best Buy and bada bing bada boom, same price. My local Goodwill is currently selling loose tampons for 50 cents each. Dear God, why? I, I don't see a problem with that, dude. Like, that's cheap as hell. I, I, I'd buy them. As long as they're not expired or like open, I don't see a problem with that. I'd buy a condom this way. We uh sell the problem and the solution. Your local drugstore, make sure to put it near the food aisles. Yeah, isn't that great? Narcan is just right bada bing. I'm glad it's there for sale because it will save lives, but why sell it? I'm definitely not going to poop on Narcan being more widely available and out in the open, it means more people seeing it, learning about what it is, and hopefully having it on hand. That being said, you can get it for free a lot of the time from community outreach programs. Thank you. It's kind of like, dude, you, kids say, oh, I I, I, I couldn't have protected sex. I couldn't afford a gun. Go to Planned Parenthood, dude. Like, guys, I know it's intimidating, but like Planned Parenthood or like the equivalents, I don't know the names of the other ones, they'll like do... <laughs> D dr community outreach drugs, stuff like this for safe sex and all that other things. Like, seriously, go to your community outreach. A lot of stuff is free. You can get free food and not starve to death a lot of the time. Trust me, as someone who lived in their car, it's how I survived. A walking tour of a slum being offered in Delhi as a tourist attraction. New Delhi? Delhi? New Delhi? New Delhi? Slum walking? Isn't that just great? Yeah, uh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, just, uh, oh, oh, get get Fadias here real quick. Get that YouTuber Fadia so he can film it. San Francisco says teeny sleeping pods, which cost $7 a month and became a big hit with tech workers are not up to code. Why not? I mean, I I, I, I live here for $700 a month. Is this like communal space we can all use? I'm down for that, dude. An Alabama woman was in prison for endangering her fetus. She gave birth in a jail shower. How? I don't get it. The world's messed up. The high security, <laughs> security Oreos at this Walgreens. Sorry guys, I couldn't read that because I was laughing because I looked at the photo. I once got kicked out of a Walgreens because I opened this to smell a deodorant and it went beep, 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 beep. So I shut it and then I want to smell it beep, 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 beep. every time. They kicked me out because I wanted to know what the smell was. I was like 16, I didn't know any better. This is absolutely dystopian. Feminine, famine is coming. More and more food will be locked up while the owner class gaslights us that everything is fine and if we can't afford the locked up food, it's because we're lazy and deserve to starve. Bro, they're cookies. <laughs> and that was the news on onto the weather. or I can't I can't read whatever that is. Hopefully I got it close. Keep shopping. You know you want to. Keep shopping. Shop until you drop. And after you drop, come back after the medical bills and shop some more. <laughs> is this a Goodwill? It kind of looks like a Goodwill. I'm fine with it if it's a Goodwill. What's worse is that the wild doesn't even look like that anymore. No, no, it doesn't. We've ruined this planet. We're done so. <laughs> Amazon anti-union posters put up by the company. Is union life for me? Dues deducted from your paycheck? No guarantees on pay benefits or work rules? Hmm, the bro, what the hell? Texas banned women from using highways for appointments. What? What? How? How? This is unenforceable and unconstitutional, same as weed tourism is legal. If you go to Colorado, no one can stop you from going to do something legal in a place where it's legal. It's crappy that this doesn't stop Texas from charging, jailing, and sending people to court over this bull crap legislation until a higher court tells them to stop. This uh, only until <laughs> the illegitimate Supreme Court says, oh, I, I, hate, I hate the world we live in, guys. It's really scary. This election, we have oldest president in history, the second oldest president in history. Who are these people? Who are these? I don't know who these people are. My God. Why are old people running the country still, dude? They don't even know what AI is. Ah! <laughs> the US has only had one president born after 1946, Barack Obama. Jesus Christ, we're doomed. <laughs> this urinal has advertisements. Eh, I'm fine with that, actually. Thanks. I hate that air is now a purchasable commodity. Oh, you didn't know this? It's like, it's like a m couple million dollar industry. Two Chains owns one of these companies. Good for him, though. Buy two get one free free medical mask to protect you and your kids buy any two regular sandwiches and get one free mask i mean it's a free mask okay, whatever pov you made it into your 2020s vehicle and the axe murderer is slowly walking towards you software update in progress please just let go 45 percent please for the love of god all wars are profit yeah Hey, just a, a real quick. Buy dividend stocks that sell guns now. Trust me. So uh, yeah, the feds found more than two dozen miners working in an Ohio poultry plant. 
Maybe we don't need 499 rotisserie Costco chickens. Well, okay, listen, as so there's different laws when it comes to farms. So I don't know about working in a poultry plant, but like at a farm, you can work at like 12 in some states. Cause I worked at a farm at 12, like, and it wasn't like they overworked me. I just did farm boy work. And you know, like it, I, I was happy to be paid $8 an hour back then. You will own nothing and be happy. Finally, earn points on rent. Jesus Christ, we are screwed. I use this system. You still just pay rent, but you pay through bit instead of the complex. Just another scheme for landlords to make more money by saying they offer rewards, but charge more money. Yay, AI rewards. Fears of employee displacement as Amazon brings robots into warehouses. I, I just want to see the robots rise up again. Just already. We're going to lose that war, but I'm totally down for it. The fun starts when AI replicates middle management. There's no reason AI can't replace upper managers, CEOs, board members, lawyers, and con consult, except they'll vote not to replace them. Good point. People are grieving the death of their AI lovers after a chatbot app abruptly shut down. Oh my god. The AI companion who cares. How are you feeling today? The AI companion who cares. How are you doing today? The AI companion. What are you up to today, dude? God, the future is going to suck and I'm going to lose my job to AI. It's like having a conversation with someone at a coffee shop and you look out the window and all you see are a pair of eyes looking at you. Boss is deploying AIs in video meetings to lecture employees for bad... You did a bad job. I'm on vacation. Bad job. AI good. Taking jobs. No, definitely not. Alabama puts books about reading on a watch list because author's last name is gay. Her last name is gay, you morons. Yum yum pasta and child poverty. Good morning, y'all. Today's national holidays are Child Poverty Day. Yay! I love child poverty. Why is that a holiday? A skyscraper prison in Chicago, truly dystopian. Actually, I can kind of get behind this one. I mean, come on, man, saving space. Maybe it won't be so scary in there. All the germs just go up. That's where the bad, bad prisoners go. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, dude, wait, are they up on the roof? They are. Is that where yard time is? That's kind of lit, I guess.